Hi guys, welcome back to another Resident Evil 7 game, uh, not gameplay, uh, collectible walkthrough, sorry guys, um, that I'm doing, okay, um, I just got to the main hall, uh, and everything, here's another bobblehead right here, I'm just gonna hit that, okay, I'm gonna grab that gunpowder, and right here, we're gonna find another coin, let's go ahead and pick that coin up, and we're in the main hall right now, Oh, we got a call, so let's go ahead and, uh, see who it is. It's your father? I'm sorry, but he, he's a dead man. He's just not able to pull this off. Huh? For what? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. The man who's been set a key to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be here. Oh, Zoe again. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this here. I'm gonna need that later. But yeah, here's another document right here. So you have to read both pages of the document, basically. And I'm just going nice and slow and staying it there. That way you guys can pause the video and check those out if you want to. As you're going through your collectible runs. And I'm just gonna make some more bullets real quick. And then that is for something else, you know, later, of course. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on upstairs. I'm going to go this way upstairs. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go this way upstairs. Okay. And I don't know if this counts or not as a document. But there is something in the drawer here. That you can uh, see a young girl. And then you turn it over and then you find her name out, of course. Okay, I don't know if that counted, so I'm going to look and see if that counted. We got 6 out of 32, and we got 3 out of 18 coins, okay, so far. Yeah, sorry that my bubble head count won't show up, but, um, but at least you guys know where they are at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> the game kind of froze a little, sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this box up. Get some more bullets, and then that's for lockpick. Okay, so we got more bullets. I'm gonna put the bullets um, right next to those. Okay, then we have, we're gonna have another uh, chemical here, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some healing stuff so that way it gets it out of my, uh, so I save some slots, basically. Okay, and so I'm gonna I'll make my way around. I'm gonna grab this herb here. So I'm gonna go into this room here, and then there's gonna be some handgun bullets there. So I wear these glasses that you guys know where things at. Just in case you guys miss a lot of stuff. Okay, here's some gunpowder. So I'll save that gunpowder. Um, this is where you're gonna find another piece of that. Okay, I have, yeah, I'm full up. But uh, even though I'm full up, I'm gonna uh, check out this document real quick. Um, I do have a place for another coin because there is gonna be another coin. Here's another document right there. So in here is a coin, and here is your next bubble head. We're going to go ahead and destroy that. Can't get into this room just yet. You need a scorpion key. We'll be getting that later on. And I'm going to go um, back this way. I'm not going to uh, pick up anything in here because um, something in the tub here I can't get to right now. But um, there is going to be another coin in here. But I'm going to pick up some handgun bullets, um, and then I'm going to grab some. I'm going to grab a coin. Um, I'm not using any infinite ammo because I never beat this game on Madhouse whatsoever, so I do not have uh, infinite ammo. I never beat it on Madhouse, basically. One thing I cannot do is beat this game on Madhouse. I can beat it on easy and normal difficulty, but cannot beat it on Madhouse. It's just too difficult for me on Madhouse, so that's why I uh, don't try. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and put another herb in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put all the coins in there. Basically, I put that right there. And then I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put those bullets away for right now. Because there's going to be more bullets. And there's also going to be more health. So that's why I'm hoarding as much health as I can. There's going to be more. So now I'm going to go out. And I'm going to show you guys. Oh, I just passed it. Haha. <laughs> 
There's another there's another little puzzle over this way. Um focus on getting that going to that tub basically. But um there is another head you can get. I'm gonna put these two heads probably on the door. That's what I'm gonna do so I can clear up the uh, inventory, but this is where you put that. Just in case you guys are having problems with this little uh, puzzle, so you don't know where that goes. But yeah, there's going to be some spoilers. I am going to mention some spoilers. Um, this is a collectible walkthrough. It's not a um, gameplay walkthrough. Basically, I have done a gameplay walkthrough of this game like a very long time ago with no commentary. I did it with my uh, game capture card before I had my little microphone, basically. And so, um, I think I did it for my Xbox, I believe. Before I had this little microphone that I have now, and uh, so it had no commentary because I, you know, couldn't do the game capture card onto my uh, laptop, basically. So I had to decide to say no commentary on it, basically. But yeah, so that is that, and um, I'm not going to show you guys the puzzle or how to get into the other room. You guys going to have to figure that one on your own. I'm not even going to pick this up just yet, but um, I'm just going to join the bathtub and just show you where this part is. And then um, there's a little projector and you just have to make it an eagle and I'll let you guys figure all that out on your, on your own. So I'll see you guys in that section uh, where the, in the little secret little area there that opens up. So I'll see you guys there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.